Illinois shoppers should prepare to pay more at the grocery store. 23 News reporter Jake Pearson travels to a locally owned business to hear how customers feel about the return of the 1% grocery tax. One year since it was suspended, the Illinois grocery tax will return on July 1st. With its reinstatement, Illinois will become the most populous state in the country with this type of tax. We hire over 200 families we help feed and all that, and we're just trying to survive too. Illinois joins 13 other states that will begin taxing groceries again for the first time since last year. Shoppers tell me that 1% hike on groceries may not seem like a lot, but for some families, nickels and dimes could mean no dinner. Those people that have to like budget out and they can only afford to get like enough to feed their family for a week, maybe that's one less meal that their family is going to eat that week. And I just, that's not, that's not fair. Illinois Senator Steve Stottleman weighs in on the tax, saying the state should not be involved, but rather local governments should make the call. I'm, I think we should have a conversation after it expires that we should continue the suspension. I, I think families uh, want to make sure they keep more money in their pockets, and I don't think groceries are something we should be taxing in the first place. Store shoppers aren't the only ones affected by the tax, so are local businesses. Dan Del Pra is the third generation owner of Countryside Markets. On top of rising inflation rates, he says he thinks it's one more hurdle preventing small businesses trying to succeed. And I think it's a struggle for every, every small business. I mean, I'm sure it's a struggle for the big box stores too, but we just, we're just trying to do whatever we can to survive and it's getting tougher and tougher. Illinois Senator Dave Severson agrees with Senator Stottleman on permanently removing the tax, saying he thinks it's more relief for families who struggle at the register. Over the last year, inflation rates raised grocery prices by more than 7 percent. Rates are expected to grow another 4.5 to 8 percent by the end of the year.